Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Common Ground, and I'm Jason Downs. Welcome to a place where we can all agree on the important stuff. Like laughter is good medicine. So I've invited a very funny man to join us today on the show <laughs> to give me a few pointers, hopefully. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, today is March 1st, and I'm so glad you've joined me here on Common Ground. Here's to a great show, a great day, and a great week. Our show is sponsored by Denny & Company LLP, Certified Public Accountants. They make your life less taxing. And the law offices of Lou Espen, when experience counts, count on experience at espenlaw.com. Now, Bobby Marqueso was born and raised in Littleton, Colorado. He's our special guest today, and I also have Lou Espen on the line. How are you doing, sir? I'm well. I'm well. I'm well. How are you? I'm great. I'm feeling good. I'm I'm feeling pumped. We actually have someone in the studio today, so that's a that's a rare treat. Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, you know, things slowly. I guess signs that we're moving toward a, a, a new normal, right? Uh, what's new in your world? Uh, well, I've got a uh, conference call hearing at uh, one thirty, so I'm gonna jump in ten minutes. Ah, okay. All right. Yes, you yeah. have more important things to do. Uh, Trying to make a <laughs> Indeed. So our guest, he um, he was raised in Littleton, Colorado, which you know we may or may not touch on. I know that that's an interesting story right there. Is uh, it? Well, I think so. It has a. It has a. It has it history. Has, yeah, it does have history. It has, it has history. Yeah, that's true. Um, but you know, you, you are supposed to teach me how to be funny today. So oh, I don't yeah, know, right, I, don't, right. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if we want to go there or not. So about Columbine. <laughs> yeah. Um, so eventually, you moved to South Dakota, where you had your own morning radio show. I, <laughs> <laughs> that's <Steve>. right, <laughs> Jason. I did, yeah, for a while. For four years, yeah. and eventually went on to have your own television morning show for eight and a half years, so that's yeah. some serious... I'm an NBC affiliate, so... Okay, yeah. that, that's some serious experience there. Uh, I look forward to hearing more about that. Since moving to California to follow the dream, the dream. quote-unquote, um, you've been a successful commercial actor for the past eight years. You also own a digital marketing agency called Elliptical Marketing, Yeah. And uh, that's been operating uh, for the past five years to great success. So, yeah. So it's been doing really well. It, it, until Spielberg calls, you right. know, you've <laughs> got to have that backup. And I'm no good at waiting tables any longer. So gotcha. That's gotcha. my backup. That's your backup. Um, okay. So, so tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, all this experience. You, you started out in radio four years and then eventually had your own morning show, television morning show for eight and a half years. So, right. Tell, just tell me a little bit about that. Well, I feel bad, actually. So who's on the line with us? Lou. Lou, Lou. and he's got to go in 10 minutes. He's got to go in should 10 we, minutes. Should we talk to him? Well, no, nah, he just likes to hang out. And, oh, he's and just hanging out? Be a part of the conversation. I'm he's paying like, for the show. I pay for the show. Oh, <laughs> and we appreciate it. He's <laughs> Thank you so much. And could he's you tell just, me the he, name of your business <laughs> one more time, please? <laughs> he's just the sponsor. Oh, <laughs> yeah, just a sponsor. <laughs> Yes. Okay. You know, and when experience counts, you want to count on lose experience. Nice. Espenlaw.com. You see no, what he did there? He's uh, he's nice. he, he he comes on the show all the time, and yeah. he tell, he gives us great advice, legal and otherwise. Okay. Um, well, good. And so, yeah, no, he's he's just a a wonderful wonderful man, and well, look, I just wanted to make sure we didn't forget about you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anything important? I'm right here. You're what? What you? Right oh, you're right here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, thanks for paying for the show. Um, so yeah, uh, radio for four years. I, yeah. I, you know, it's one of those things where you grow up and everybody's like, oh, you should be on the radio or something like that. And yeah. I never gave it much thought. But then I happened to go into it from running a restaurant. I was running a Red Lobster, and I was just so so unhappy. <laughs> And so I went into a small radio station. The only thing that they would let me do at night, I could go in like at 12 o'clock at night. And he would let me, you know, once in a while just say whatever record that was playing. And this is the Doobie Brothers. 
Nice. And that was it, right? And then I wasn't supposed to say anything more. No, no banter. Don't talk to people. That is so funny because my first radio gig <laughs> has a similar. Does it? No, I, I. This was in Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay, yeah. I don't mean to. You know, we won't. We'll, we'll get back. I, I don't mean to talk. Remember, I kind of had a story to tell. All right, that's cool. So, <laughs> no, it's fine. I was thrilled to have this this job at the little radio station, country yes. station, right? You know, and same same thing. Like, hey, you know, <laughs> this is Alan Jackson. Don't rock the. Like, I can't use this voice. I should <clears throat> I should try to have something more radio-ish. And man, they fired me after day 2 ah. un- <laughs> because <laughs> because I tried to talk too much. Uh, I was I was having too much I fun. I know, they don't let you. I was reading a, I, I was reading a uh, an obituary. I think you know, they a small town, you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, not unusual. You were reading the obituary. I had to read that. Well, that was because I had to. They Norma, said, <laughs> Norma yeah. Greystone. Oh, Norma, I loved her. Uh, was buried today. At, oh exactly. I mean, God. you know, that gives you an idea, right? So, so, so I was reading the obituary. Well, no, is, it, is that the election results? Uh, similar, yes. Sim- uh, okay. <laughs> so, so I get to the end of the obituary, and it said that she had been born in Maryland, which I had been born in Maryland. And I remember, this is in a small town in Arkansas. So I was like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm from Maryland, too. It's a lovely place. And, right. and, you know, so-and-so and so-and-so. Anyway, they fired me because of that, because apparently I, I stepped outside the lines a little too much there. Isn't I, that funny? Because yeah. that is kind of the same way. The guy who trained me ended up moving to South Dakota. And some new people took over the station. And so I wanted to get more involved like that. Can I talk more yeah. and do that kind of stuff? Well, we don't really know like what you're going to say. And I don't know about taking you out on the remotes and things like that. You know, you can drive me if you want. I'm like, oh, thanks. You <laughs> you my driver. Yeah. Jeez. So, um, yeah, the same thing. They just didn't know. And now, you know, like when I had my television show, I just wanted to – you know, I wished I was in the same town so I could say, hey, do you mind taking me over to, you know, the Civic Center? So I the TV a, show was in South Dakota. It was in Rapid City, South Dakota. And the radio station was in uh, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Okay. So, yeah. You're a, you're a country, country boy. I have been, yeah. It, you know, all my life. I, I miss the mountains a lot, you know. But um, but this, you know, I love California. But the mountains so you, are, you literally left the West to come mm-hmm. farther west <laughs> to right. pursue i just snorted i don't know if that, if that matters <laughs> no, there'll we, be a lot of that i'm we, sorry we got that loud and clear awesome we uh but you came out to, to continue being in the business so yeah to speak. right you, well to yeah. be an actor and yeah to and expand beyond just a morning television show you yeah. know i i didn't have dreams of having my own talk show or anything like that but i wanted to act and you know, yeah. that kind of thing. So it took a while. I, I wanted to make sure I did it right. I took classes, you know, for yeah. a couple of years, the old Meisner technique, and mm-hmm, made sure mm-hmm. that I knew what I was doing when I went out to, on, to auditions because you only get that first chance. And they, they won't call you back. But they, they're like, this kid doesn't know what he's doing. Did you ever figure out? No. How to audition? No. Because Thank you, no. $2,000 later. Yeah, never. Because that is not really something that I have found can be taught. No, the Meisner. Te- you mean like the Meisner, or just? Oh no, Me- Meisner technique. I've, I I studied as well in, in school, along with uh, several other techniques. I'm talking about. I'm talking about audition technique. Oh, was I, it? actually, no, I did. I perfected. Oh, that. okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's it's easy once you know what to do, right? Once you start going in, going, oh my God, what are they? What are they thinking about me? And mm-hmm. how, you know, if a guy gives a look on his face, you know, so it's much like when you're on stage, right, talking and. And if you're acting on stage or such, you can't look at the audience. Right. So I don't look at the faces and stuff. But once you go in and just realize your only job is to go in and do what I prepared to do, and then that's it. Because you have no control after that, right? It's, it, 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 I didn't like the way his eyes were blue or whatever. Totally out of your, your – as long as I went in, what, it's, what was the uh, – make sure that you um, book the room or something. So you just go in and you just do – what you know how to do if they love you that's great but i've been you also learn after a while that you can be the best one mm-hmm. and still not get it because i've been told you know there was a few times for sorry, factors they, that have nothing to do with you nothing to yeah. do with it they're yeah, like exactly. listen we had this many people we loved you but then you know such and such i'm like i get it you know too tall to this exactly to that, whatever it is Rat bastards but fine. golden globes were last night did you yeah did you want lou no. lou did you get to watch are you no, no. No? 
Oh, you weren't paying for that, so I don't watch? Is what? It, what is that? No. <laughs> I don't watch unless I'm sponsoring the program, and then maybe once in a while. No, I don't watch award shows. Why not? Why, why isn't that your thing? Um, because I, I'm asking. I found, I, found, I found them to be rather self-serving. Okay. Yeah. And I know that you have some insight into the business, so so you're 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 right to to a degree. I mean, I thought it was interesting because obviously it was virtual for the most part. Yeah. And so you've mm -hmm. got you know Jodie Foster accepting her award with in a puppy pajamas. And yeah. A pup and, <laughs> and her wife <laughs> and, and, a, a and a dog. Right. You know. Yeah. Um. So very. Yeah. Lots of lots of them actually. You know, held up their dogs or yeah. cats or what whatever. What is that? Um. <clears throat> but but also I held up my cat. <laughs> See there, it would be a perfect opportunity. But my thing also is that there were a few, and one in particular that stood out, who accepted their award uh, with utter surprise, couldn't quite ever get you know a word out. You know, really, um, he won best actor in in, in something. Uh, I don't know that I should say his name or not, oh, right. but uh, you know, because I'm not trying to rag on anyone necessarily. But he seemed so surprised to win. Um, genuine? Uh, yeah. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. No, I think it was genuine. Okay. Um, he he was wearing a sweatshirt. It looked like he just sort of like <laughs> you know like okay, I guess I'll tune in <laughs> kind of thing. You know right. what I mean? And the whole thing just struck me as as wow you know okay yeah. even if you're not a fan of award shows you know even if you know it's self-serving even if you know blah 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 um you were nominated a month or two ago yeah right <laughs> you know you Why haven't practiced this? your your <laughs> like in the shower <laughs> yeah. your your acceptance speech like all of us have into a hairbrush five yeah you know what i mean come on <laughs> you, you know what i mean i just i mean he was so like is it just Am I so cool that that it it means so little to me uh, to even you know get dressed, think about what I'm gonna say no. if if you know on the off chance I I you know they choose to to single me out yeah it, it just seemed that seemed a little bit sort of somehow uh, like he was acting yeah. oh so it wasn't that I, genuine I, That's I mean what I'm I don't saying. I mean I think he was surprised oh. But but then not to be able to rally, you know, as a professional in the business, to not be able to rally and, and put together a coherent thank you. Yeah, or, almost like a, an afterthought. Yeah, in a way, it, yeah. it, it like he just totally was. Ew. You know, I'm so cool that I don't spend any time thinking about this. I'm so cool that that even though I'm showing up, I'm not really showing. And anyway, yeah, I don't mean no, to go on about no, it. No, that's no good. Though. It just seems strange to me. Yeah. Because even like Lou said, even if you even if you don't necessarily, you know, believe in it or adhere to it or, you know, want to glorify it, I get all of that, yeah, yeah. you know. But it, it just seemed to cross a, a surprising line to me Yeah. that he was like, um, um, wow. Uh, well, it's kind yeah. of a simple – it's a simple – decision right so either have enough respect for yourself and the audience people who are watching and do it yeah or don't yeah because there were people who didn't show yeah you know they so just showed a go. picture of them yeah so don't go you know yeah mm. I, I guess that's my feeling like if you're gonna show then represent yourself and be yeah and you know and, and actors and, and you know <laughs> you could you could still do that without being self-serving you know, like Ricky so. Gervais is always making fun of the Hollywood elite and that kind of stuff. You can still be down to earth and do all that kind of stuff. You don't have to yeah. give it to them. But that, yeah, otherwise don't come. That that part I don't I don't really understand. Yeah. And and I guess, you know, because it's done virtually, it's uh, lending itself a little more to that perhaps. I don't yeah, know. Maybe. You know, a little more. I think it, it does absolutely be a lot more relaxed because they're at home. And I think I think maybe, and I'm not, I'm not saying that he was doing this, but to give like if we were to give benefit of the doubt, some of them want to say, "See, we're just real people. I hang out in my sweatshirt. And sure, this is my house, and right. you know these are my fuzzy slippers, and you know, which like you know I, li I like that. But, but you could still, I still, if it were me, <laughs> which it never would be, <laughs> but if it were me, oh. I would at least put on a nice shirt. <laughs> you know, I mean, take Put a, a nice shirt. I would and, take a shower and think about you know what you might want to say. Yeah, right. I mean, I how agree. many how many times have you practiced an acceptance speech in your shower, in a mirror, what have you? It's like you were looking in the window. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Lou had to go. Lou left. Lou had to go. Oh no! It was that time. He didn't say, say goodbye. He just <laughs> we, we started talking about me in the shower, and he's like, <laughs> "Hang up." <laughs> oh, oh, he just he texted me. Oh, did he? Good. Gotcha. And I was waiting okay. for the, the the beeping to go because then it would just been blasting music like just whoosh, like that. Uh, what should we say to Lou? Because now I feel bad. I know Lou. See, I wanted to spend I know. time. I. I, I I mean, yeah, he, he's such an awesome guy. Um, so, what and like he, I said, he always pops in. Yeah, and, yeah. And what does he What does he do? He's a lawyer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he has like he said he had to jump onto a a case here, um, literally. I think, right? Didn't he make sure? <laughs> yeah, I think it was. Literally, make sure you don't yeah. have. I think uh, he's arbitrating a case. Make sure you don't have a cat, you know, as a as a, <laughs> a filter. <laughs> Luke, <laughs> with a Zoom call, with a Zoom on a Zoom call, that would be my advice if I had any advice for a lawyer. Okay, <laughs> all right. I just said thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. See, I mean, and this is—I mean, we're doing something very unusual today, right? And and I wanted to shake things up on purpose, you know, yeah. by bringing Bobby, uh, who's who's a seasoned veteran here, uh, to to sort of give me. A, a way to sort of maybe shake things up a little bit. All right. You know what I'm saying? What do you want to talk about? Um, well, what I generally do and what I like to do is look at history. Okay. And I can read a few things that have happened on this day or this week in history, which, you know, then we can, you know, if something yeah. strikes our fancy, we can talk about. All right. Um, so, for instance, in 1780, Pennsylvania became the first U.S. state to abolish slavery. Shut the front door. On this day. Wow. So, I mean, you know, yeah, something like that. It, it's not, there's nothing funny about that overtly. <laughs> no, but really, no. I think it's something that's important to say out loud and remember, hey, well, seven, yeah. 1780, that was a long time ago. It was, and it's still, um, you would, with the way the world is today, it's only been, like, what, since the 50s, maybe. Yeah. Since everything was so segregated and, and yes. that kind of thing, and so we really haven't come that far. Seventy years. If you had said, you know, if we were farther by now, seventeen eighties, like, yeah, we've come a long way. We just so have not, you know, and so many misunderstandings and people's opinions. And it, I mean, it puts that. things in perspective. I feel like too, because if you know, Pennsylvania abolished slavery in seventeen eighty, and here we are. Mm -hmm. I mean, all these years later, we're still working that muscle do you know what i mean to try totally. and 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 sort of make things right you yeah. know um 1875 almost 100 years later and i didn't know this congress passed the civil rights act this is 1875 which was invalidated by the supreme court in 1883 <laughs> really <laughs> I, I mean do you know what i'm saying like that puts this country in perspective do you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying yeah yeah 1974, a grand jury indicts seven of President Nixon's aides for Ooh. a conspiracy on Watergate. This day. Dun, dun, dun. This day. Yeah. Interesting here. 1985, the Pentagon accepts the theory that an atomic war would block the sun, causing a nuclear winter. <laughs> so, what? 1985, right? Yeah. How many years? After, 40 years after, after they dropped it. Yeah. Um, we acknowledge that this could happen. <laughs> Yes. We're, we're aware of it. All right, so Good Lord. this is interesting, too. On this very day, 1932, yeah. in a crime that captured the attention of the entire nation, Charles Lindbergh Jr. Stolen, the baby. The 20-month-old son of, of, of hero Charles Lindbergh. Right, right. Was, was kidnapped from their new home in Jersey. Um, and that didn't end well, yeah? It did not end well. No. Yeah, I, I just read, you know, yeah. reread this today. We hear, oh, the Lindbergh baby, the Lindbergh baby, right, right. right? I mean, it's kind of become part of, of uh, you know, social rhetoric. Right. Um, but, yeah, he was – so so Lindbergh had, had first become famous in 1927, so a few years earlier for his fir the first solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean. Right. So they walk into their son's bedroom, right, 20-month-old, yeah. and discover a ransom note. Demanding fifty thousand dollars and an open window, right. ladder to this is second floor, right? Yeah, yeah. So there's a ladder and there's foot, mud, muddy footprints on the floor. Okay. Okay. A parent's worst nightmare. Yeah. Uh, do you have kids? I do. Yeah, oh. I have a, a sixteen-year-old daughter. Oh wow. And an eleven-year-old okay. son who's going to turn twelve in May. So 
I mean, yeah. Add it's... this to the list of things we have in common. My daughter is 15, almost 16, and my and my son is 12. This... We, I, I mean, I... Well... <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's been like this from the beginning. Yeah. Like the first conversation we had, like, what? Really? That's the same thing? <laughs> oh, my God. I <laughs> do that. <laughs> um, anyway, so, I mean, I can't imagine... I, this is literally things that woke me up at night. You know, when I first became a father, right. I don't know if the nightmares. Did you experience this? Like when you first become a, a, a parent, like the nightmares change dramatically. They for do, me. yeah. And it wasn't about kidnapping or anything. No, because my first son was born um, very prematurely, and so mm. oh. it was one of those. He came home on oxygen, oh. right? And so you're wondering if he's, you know. And then my uh, oh, my son uh, that's with me now. So that was from a previous relationship. And then my son uh, now has diabetes and was uh, diagnosed when he was like three, three and a half. Okay. So then you have those worries, right? Then we have to get up at night. We have to test his blood. We have to, you know, do yeah. all that kind of stuff. Or we did, and we don't have to do that any longer. But that was a thing, you know. And so in the morning, if he ever slept in, <sighs> Right. My you wife and I gotta check, check put our breathing. fingers on our noses check like not it. Check <laughs> you know? the breathing. Yeah, exactly. No, exactly. You go check. I don't want to go check. So, yeah. So, I mean, But they, so, they found the guy who did this. Supposedly. I mean, they don't act like it's so conclusive. But, yes, they found a guy with the marked bills, right, that mm-hmm. they, you know, they did finally exchange the money and, uh, and then never could find the child until sometime later mm. they found him – in the backyard, basically. What? Like they had killed him right away. Oh. That and was, he was there the whole time in the backyard. That was yeah, yeah. Oh, that was the that was goodness. the ho- horrific tragedy as well of it is that you know it went on and on and on and on and they finally found that's this like poor boy Jean Benet. Yeah, Jean Benet Ramsey, right? She was downstairs. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know much about that. My God. <laughs> Aside from like seeing no, listen, it on the no, on the front just, page of the, of the Inquirer, just stop it? now. That's okay. What else? <laughs> I should give up. Right? I'm sorry. Let's go back to 1932. <laughs> go give, ahead. I should give up. <laughs> just give up. Pointer number one. Uh, um, all right. Well, let's let's take a break. We're going to come back with Bobby Marqueso uh, after uh, this short word from our sponsors. So so hang out here with us on KHTS 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Celebrate the new year with the Canyon Theatre Guild's new spring online youth workshops. Express yourself from the comfort of your own home with super fun classes like improv, script writing, audition techniques, and two brand new shows specifically designed for online performances. No borders, no experience necessary, and no end to the fun. Call 661-799-2702 or visit us at canyontheatre.org. This is Jerry Serrati Goldman, owner here at KHTS Radio. I've been using plumbing by Kurt for years, both personally and here at the station. From small issues like toilets running and clogged sinks to much bigger issues, Kirk Stinson has always been here for me. There's no one I trust more with my plumbing problems than Kirk and his team. Quick, reliable, and very reasonable prices. Call now for estimates on new drain installations, old drain replacements, and water heaters. 263-6519 or log on to plumbingbykirk.com. Save water and save money. SCV Water wants to help you find your fit and take advantage of conservation rebate programs that will help you save. Water your landscape more efficiently. Replace your lawn with water-wise plants. Conduct free in-home water surveys. Cover your swimming pool and more. Find the programs that fit your needs and start saving today. Visit conserve.yourscvwater.com to learn more. That's conserve.yourscvwater.com. Once heart attack symptoms begin, delaying treatment increases the risk of heart damage, disability, and even death. Time is critical. Leading the valley with the most advanced digital technology and treatment times that beat national best practice goals, Providence offers emergency coronary angioplasty and stenting performed by highly trained board certified cardiologists. For more information, call 1-888-HEALING. The road to healing leads to Providence. I listen to it all day, every day. Hometown, your hometown station. Oh, 
welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Common Ground. So glad you're here with us today, along with Bobby Marqueso. Hello. Hello. How you're, are we? You're right. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine, mate. That's right. It's good, then. <laughs> I'm fine, mate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It's... Um, well, I mean, since the break, how have you how have you been? Sure, uh, it was a bit traumatic, but I've recovered. <laughs> well, admitting the truth is often a, a bit traumatic, so <laughs> it's okay. Listen, we are all behind you. I okay? appreciate that. And yeah, it doesn't no, matter. I, There's no judgment here. Thank you, thank you, welcome. thank you for that. Sure. Um, so we're just we're trying something a little bit different today, having some fun and uh, bringing some levity. Because uh, normally I I just take myself so seriously that that it's you know it's hard to stomach right right Patty Patty St Patrick oh, hey. oh is he right oh tis tis is me <laughs> he's definitely right <laughs> it's a horrible Irish impersonation I'm doing I didn't want to say anything that's actually pretty good really? if you were eating a bowl of Lucky Charms. <laughs> It's the magical fruit. Yeah, <laughs> the magically think, delicious. Yeah, see? Oh my gosh, it's perfect. If there I close my eyes, I swear I was sitting right in front of a big bowl. <laughs> so, nicely done. Does it make you feel any better that I had a bowl of Lucky Charms today? What? Wow. Are you serious? Yeah. Did you really? <laughs> it's good cereal. <laughs> Are you serious? You had Lucky Charms this morning. I'm not serious. I'm cereal right now. Huh? Wow. <laughs> Okay, I could, I could just show myself out of the room. Wow. Right <laughs> are you, you serious go. or are you serial? I, I'm, That's I'm what confused. he was saying. I'm just, no, I'm totally serial. Uh, um, I, I mean, I can um, just leave. No, no, please don't. <laughs> oh. The nauseousness will pass. Okay, but 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 seriously, I have to oh, know. Oh, seriously. <clears throat> did, you, <laughs> did you have Lucky Charms this morning? Patty O'Schwanky O'Flynn. Yes. Patty O'Schwanky. Yes, it's good. Yes, it's one of my favorite cereals next to Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So, real people have that for like real breakfast. I hey, it was quick. <laughs> it was um, quick. There is something about like, cereal. I will admit that I love sometimes late at night. Well, of course, yeah, right? yes, as and a snack, and right? yes, and, and it's never one brand, right? So it's you mix like Lucky Charms and Cheerios, or Lucky Charms okay. and interesting checks or something. Okay. Whatever. Interesting. I yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you mix it. I can't be the only one. I but, have not heard of that myself, oh. but I, it sounds... I should try that. I've never done that, but oh, I want to do so it. Oh, it's so good. Frosted Flakes and mm. Lucky Charms or something like that. But what right? do you call this, this concoction? I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I don't have a name. Oh, it's the Marqueso Special. I call it a yeah. sin. Ah. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's, I call it going straight to my head. It's sacrilege. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Dude, you yeah. got a marshmallow right here on your neck, by the way. There you oh, go. I knew it. I felt it. <laughs> I just didn't know that people ate that stuff other than for, you know, a, a late yeah. night snack or a, a, no, I don't a have real breakfast. breakfast? Yeah, I mean, no, Lucky no. Charms? Is, no. That's not a real... Cereal for breakfast? Patty, oh, a novel concept. No, well, not no, since I was no. seven. There's a, <laughs> there, oh. there's a difference between... Cereal uh-huh. and Lucky Charms. <laughs> so, like, you know, for instance, it, it, help me out here. Like, there, ca- there like are... Kashi. Okay, thank uh, okay, you. Okay, right. Kashi. Right. Grape nuts. Grape nuts is great. I, I don't think that it would, besides too much sugar, a little raisin bran. Okay. Sometimes it's okay. still okay. okay. It's better anyway. I mean, I'll eat Cheerios all the time and, oh. and, and Rice Krispies. Ooh. <laughs> you um, health nut you. We're, yeah, we're, we're st- <laughs> and Chex Mix, just the regular like rice yeah. one. We're starting to get away from. <laughs> from yeah. What, Notice what how we're kind of going down. Right. We yeah. are going away down from radical. anything healthy there. And then Patty. you know, I go from wheat Chex to like you know fruity pebbles. <laughs> Uh-huh. And stuff so uh-huh. yeah <laughs> right is that what you're saying yeah Daddy? and uh, um, yeah <laughs> and Maybe. the little cereal that looks like like chocolate chip cookies oh those dude are, yeah <laughs> oh yeah. i love those because it's like it's like having you know like little cookies and milk yeah no, right which make which makes it healthy I, when, when, totally <laughs> all your food groups are represented anyway oh. we don't mean to give you a hard time Patty. no no we do <laughs> but that's that's I, not I know I just met you, but we don't no, we mean do. to, we don't mean to, but we're doing it on purpose. Yeah, yeah, because because it's not healthy for you. I just know. just so you know, it's not like I have like five hundred like bowls a day. I just had one little bowl. Okay, one right. little bowl. Okay, okay, fine. It was one like, big ass big, bowl. Big bowl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big bowl. I'm thinking, and half a thing of milk. 
right? <laughs> okay, maybe. Right. Okay, maybe we're getting a little to the truth of this. We yes. should open up. You know what we should do is have like a little psychological hour ab- about Patty. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we should. So, <laughs> like, so then it's story time with Patty. Hey, blah, 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 it's story time with Patty. <laughs> Trust and me, then, that, that'd be fun for no one. No, it's fun. And then and then we could hear about these wild stories you have, because I think you've got a couple <laughs> things that just happen in your normal, everyday life. That he thinks th- is normal. That and you think we, is yeah, normal. Yeah. <laughs> and, and as, and as we the psychological experts, we, yes. can, we can set things straight. Yes. Yes. I went up the stairs and I fell forward. Boom. <laughs> Doesn't that happen every... I didn't actually that do happens. that. But no, no. Like, it'd be something like that. We can start off later. <laughs> you know, we... <laughs> We'll give you time to think of something. Yeah. Write down a few things. And yes. We'll... Ooh, I like this idea. <laughs> I'm going to write down a couple things a day. You, now you know what you're going to have to do. When you go out and live your life, you're going to have to pay attention. Because this is fodder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and this will be great. Oh, Lord. You know, you know what I think we should make our goal today? Mm. Someone calling in Ooh. to the show. I've, we've what? never had anyone call in. I've, I don't know that I've ever asked. But hmm. wh- why not? Why not have someone call and tell Ask us what, Patty a question. Tell us what they, <laughs> oh, no. Tell us what you had for breakfast, <laughs> and we can compare to what Patty had for breakfast. Yes. <laughs> what did you have for breakfast? Yeah, what did you have? Um, what did I have this morning? Oh, you know, so we make our own um, kind of granola. It's See, oatmeal. Take notes, Patty. Go, oatmeal, go on. organic, <laughs> peanut butter, go, uh-huh. and protein powder. Uh-huh. You mix it up, and then Notice you the word organic it. was in there, Patty. Go yeah. ahead. T- take notes. <laughs> and Keep then on top of yogurt. So And yogurt. Mm-hmm. See? And yogurt. Yeah. See? Now I didn't have breakfast because mm. I I fast. Do you do the do I do fasting? the fasting thing. I sure, don't sure. I don't eat until noon. Yeah, nice. So I ate before I came here, which was avocado toast. You see there? Oh yeah, no, that's it was good organic too. whole grain toast. <laughs> yeah, with an actual avocado. Yeah. you know, yeah. sliced on top of it. Mm-hmm. You're not and, writing any of this down. And twenties. Mental, yeah. mental and, notes. Okay. Men- mental. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Key word here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I can see you in your kitchen. Uh, what the hell did he put on this? <laughs> I don't, white he, piece of bread. And wait, he said lost. Car- he said cardboard and twinkies <laughs> and yeah. and what was it? Cardboard, <laughs> twinkies and a little Debbie. <laughs> yeah. Hey, and that little Debbie goes a long way. Yeah. And 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 whole milk, which makes it healthy. <laughs> That's two percent right there. Two <laughs> percent. That's right. No, I did two percent. I did two percent. How much you give today? I gave two percent. <laughs> oh, this is toward great. my health and well-being. <laughs> this All is right. great. I can't find out what to wait Do, until you what you have tomorrow. I know. I can't wait. <laughs> D- does anyone ever call in? Mm, randomly, oh, okay. number. so so it's not just me. Does, the, the, no, no, like, like nobody calls in. I mean, like it's been a very, very rare thing. Okay, all right. Well, and I mean, like like a blue, that? like a blue moon type rare. No, really? we should do that. What's we, the we, number? We, yeah, it's six six one. Yeah, two nine eight five four eight seven. And that number again, six six one two nine eight five four eight seven. Now you know, you know yeah, so. That would be interesting to have somebody call in. Yeah, <laughs> tell us what you had for, for breakfast. In the meantime, let's talk about the Salem witch hunts. <laughs> oh, my. Oh my. Do you on know, this I'm, day. I, on it this wasn't day. this day? 1692. Yeah. That's why I'm bringing it up. She's on this a day. witch. <laughs> <laughs> she turned me into a newt. <laughs> I got better. <laughs> That's a Monty Python reference. But, but not oh, in good, t- Patty. Very good. I know my reference. But not in time to save them from hanging the poor woman. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm so drawn to I those. Can't, but I know. That period. I don't know why. It's so fascinating yeah. how people used to adjudicate whether or not someone was telling the truth. Yeah. I mean, it's just insane. You go back to, I mean, my kids are learning about medieval history right now. And the, I mean, you know, the way they used to, you know, tell if someone was telling the truth is insane. But, but you know, 1692 isn't a far cry. No. <laughs> and, and if she doesn't drown, she wasn't a witch. Okay. Or oh, if she drowns, oh, she was, she oh, was well. normal. Oh, well. Now, yeah. now we know. Now we know. Right. Give it up. All right. Thank <laughs> the, you. Okay. We know now. <laughs> the poor dear. Sorry. Sorry about that. Excuse us. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, this was in. Incredible. Oof. Salem, Massachusetts, right? Everybody yeah. knows. So so it starts with Sarah Good and Sarah Osborne. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, unfortunately, it was a slave, you know, that they accused right. to begin with. Obviously, that kicked things off. But then not, it didn't matter. It went, it went all over the – you know, it, it, it went crazy from there. Yeah. But um, – oh, did we get a call? No dice. It was the gas oh. man. 
<laughs> it was the gas. Who was it? Wrong number? No, it? I, it's just unknown. It was the up. owner. It was the owner of the station saying, "Cut!" Oh, <laughs> like was it Lou? Cut these guys off. <laughs> it, 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 it was Lou saying, "This is not Lou." <laughs> well, anyway, so okay. yeah, that. Um, I, I mean, it, you know, they ended up. Uh, let's see, incriminating 150 women mm. and men uh, from the surrounding areas. So, so this is interesting. So the court hearings, you know, obviously they made. You know the the famous uh, Crucible, the play, right, right. Uh, you know, based on all of this. So we we have some idea of of what went down. But I mean, they literally, let's see, um, one of them was was executed by crushing, which yes, would be what you're that talking about. Yes, that was a guy. Right? There yes. was a guy, and he was Giles they, they, they kept putting rocks on him, and until he crushed, Most and he maintained his innocence, of course, till the end. Because he was. Because he was. Innocent. That was just what a witch would say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but most of those tried were condemned on the basis of the witness's behavior during the actual proceedings. And that's, you know, one of the right. exciting things about the play, too, is they obviously act, She's act that freaking out. out. So Characterized by fits and hallucinations that were argued to be caused by the defendants on trial. So it was just, it was just show business. Yeah. It, it was literally theater. Uh, yeah. And these people were put to death. As a result of the whims of these of these children, it's Looks just like crazy. We might have a call. What? We have a call. We have a call. No way. Shut up. We do not. He's putting her through. Oh, oh. Hello. You really, you really, you really do have a call. Wow. Um, thank first, you. My, my name's my name's Linda, and I'm a history teacher. I was a history teacher before I was elected to the school board, Ooh. but uh, taught this area of history. And one of the interesting things about the people in Salem, we talk about them being burned at the stake right. or hung, but most of the people were what they call pressed. Is P-R-E-S-S-E. that with the rocks? Yeah, they put them yeah. down. And, and again, if they survive three or four nights under the... Oh, no. You know, or, or you know, same thing with the drowning. But uh, when I went to Salem... Uh, a thousand years ago, I was very. Uh, you were there because I don't. Work- oh yeah, I was. I was. <laughs> I'm older than dirt. I was there during the time. <laughs> oh honey, the things you must have seen. <laughs> oh yeah, seriously. My name's Linda Storley, and I have been around for a thousand years. I used to tell my students when the earth cooled, then I came upon, and you know. But anyway, <laughs> it it was an interesting place to go. And uh, I was really surprised that I found about this pressing. So when I turned around and taught my students years later, uh, we, we dismissed the hanging and the burning and, and learned about pressing. So when you went there, is there still, yeah. do you, did you kind of, how did you feel? Like, is, there, is it just kind of an eerie, you know, feeling all yeah. around or is all of that kind of pretty much gone? No, no, no. I, I would, I will say, I'm, I'm fairly religious, okay. and I had my two children with me, who are now grown up and, and, you know, on their way also. And not I, witches, right? I, not witches. I just want to no, make that clear. No, okay, very not, good. You know, not, not, not witches. Not either. Well, my, no, my daughter can be. Never mind. So, a... <laughs> so uh, we went to, to this museum, and I signed up, and I bought the ticket, and then I thought, I don't want to go into something that's going to draw my children into the occult. So I went back and I got my ticket refunded. And then I, I talked to some people and they said, no, it's just a history of it. So I went back and rebought the ticket. <laughs> By this time, they think I'm not a witch, but a little nuts. And we went through it. And there is an eerie feeling. Yeah. There's a, you can kind of like when you go into a, 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 a different kind of church, like I've been in, in mosques and stuff, and, mm-hmm. I, and I'm, I'm not Muslim. But there's a feeling, oh, yeah. and there's a, a you know, that that like when you like when you visit Auschwitz or some place like that, yeah. it, it, you can't help yeah, but feel. There's, there's absolutely a feeling, and that that's another one where you and I was at the Hanoi Hilton a couple mm. of years ago, and there's a, there's feelings with these places. But in in Salem, it was an interesting. Um, trip through their uh, museum and uh, through the pressing room, which is where I learned about that and then turned around and, and mm. taught it to kids for 30 years. Wow, Goodness it was sense. even called a pressing room. Wow, yeah, well, Linda, it was, it was, yeah. we, we yeah. have to take a break, but my goodness, thank you so much for, for being our first caller ever. And, ever. and, and, and oh, thank you so much for, 
for serving our children for so long. And it's, I can tell that you were a, a fantastic teacher. So thank and you so much. And now you've made history. I You've been teaching it, <laughs> and now you've made history. Oh, my God. Thank you. That's so I, nice. I am the first first teacher to go from the classroom to on the, the trustee board. So that's, oh. uh, that was So she's exciting. used to making so history. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, Linda, you have a fantastic day. Thank you so, so much. Thank, and everyone thank else, you so much. stick around here uh, on KHTS with, with myself, Jason Downs, and Bobby Marqueso. We're going to take your calls. I guess, you know, hey, 661 <laughs> 298 Five four eight seven. Hey, let's have some fun. And if you're a witch, it's six nine one three four. No, I don't. <laughs> seven seven three. <laughs> How do you spell hell backwards? In the- <laughs> H-E double hockey stick. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're on KHTS ninety eight point one FM AM twelve twenty. We'll see you in a moment. This is Bradley from Santa Clarita Grocery, the all-volunteer grocery program serving children, families, and individuals experiencing food insecurities. Since January 2020, Santa Clarita Grocery has distributed 83 tons of fresh groceries to 4,465 families in the SCV. Santa Clarita Grocery is a drive-up, drive-through service with physical distancing in place to continue serving our community. If you are in need or looking for a charity to do the most good for our community, please consider partnering with us by donating to Santa Clarita Grocery, one of the most efficient charities in the Santa Clarita Valley. A full 99 cents out of every dollar goes directly back to the community. Santa Clarita Grocery operates on a 1% overhead and is sustained through private donations. Santa Clarita Grocery is at 21176 Center Point Parkway in the Oasis Furniture Parking Lot. Please visit our website, santaclaritagrocery.org, or Facebook at Santa Clarita Grocery to make a difference in our our awesome town community, 661-425-7575. Be our guest and experience the difference. Coyote Creek location, there's lots to offer. Three acres of manicured landscape, actually in the heart of Agua Dulce in the Santa Clarita Valley. Craving the outdoors? I know I am. What about a baby shower, wedding ceremony, reception, picnic, holiday parties? Everything's been moved outside. We need to support healthy space and distancing, I know. But it's not how far apart we are. It's definitely about the treasured memories we create. Making moments with loved ones, friends, family. How do you beat that? Go to CoyoteCreekLocations.com. You've got to book your next perfect event. CoyoteCreekLocations.com. Your hometown station, KHTS. Welcome back to Common Ground. I'm Jason Downs. We're here with Bobby Marqueso, who has had his own radio show for many years and his own mm. TV morning show for many years. This was back in Wyoming to begin with, and then uh, Wyoming, South Dakota. South Dakota. South Dakota. Yeah. Originally from Colorado, yeah. Littleton, mm-hmm. which, uh, you know. The whole Columbine thing. We, we, we don't have to talk it about was, that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, no. What's I mean, the school that we shall how, not name? How long have you been here? How long have you been in California? Yes. Probably like twelve or thirteen years now. Oh, Maybe twelve. Okay. And yeah, in Santa long. Clarita? No, I, well, we started off in Pasadena. Okay. All oh, right. Then moved up to Santa Clarita. Yeah. Where you performed for the senior center? The senior for, center. For many, many years. Yeah, there was a, a a facility that was just up the street from where we lived in Pasadena, and so I had gone up there and. I used to sing a lot in in South Dakota and such uh, at the some of the nursing homes and such, and um, so I just approached him and I said I would love to, you know, sing. And of course, you know, you have this man who just wants to sing for seniors, and <laughs> they kind of look at you a little weird. But she's like, I'd I'd love to have okay. you do that. So I did, and then eleven years later. I'm still Incredible. doing it, but I haven't for the past year because of everything that's going on. Obviously, so, which we're yeah. gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna get to going here in, in Santa Clarita as well. Hopefully, yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah. We've got good plans. Yeah, that'll be fun. So, so yeah. I mean, one of the things we do on the show also is the artist's almanac. Okay. Which, similar to this day in history or what have you, I, I look at some of the artists that were that were either born this week or this month. Um, I love to read poetry every now and then um, based on whoever we have. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I it's one of the things I love. So, yeah. so Were there any artists that were pressed or no, drowned? No, thankfully. Or any, no, okay. No. So, for instance. If you're a true artist, you will live. 
<laughs> wow, <laughs> that, that would certainly <laughs> explain a lot. Doesn't trim it? down the the competition for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I was taking a drink. <laughs> we, we'd have some better luck on the, in those auditions, you know. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Chopin. Frederick Chopin. Oh. Composer pianist. On this day, eighteen ten. He was born? Yes. On, okay. On this very day. On this day. Glenn Miller, nineteen oh four. Really? There you go. Big band leader. I mean, I know you love you love the old I do. Uh good yeah, old. Sinatra and, and uh-huh. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good uh, old Glenn. Ralph Waldo Ellison, not Emerson, mm. nineteen fourteen, African American author, wrote cousin invisible. Of- no, he wrote The Invisible Man, for instance. Oh, did he really? Yeah. I never saw that. Because <laughs> he's... In... No? Okay. Boo. <laughs> Boo. Seriously? You? No. With no. The, I'm being serial? <laughs> Don't no, even. No, I, I have no room to talk. Don't even, know. Patty Cakes. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> 1917, Robert Lowell Jr., poet, won Pulitzer Prize in 47 for Lord Weary's Castle. Richard Wilbur, who I'm going to read uh, a little bit later, Pulitzer Prize winning twice. He won two Pulitzer Prize, Prizes for poetry, for goodness sake. He was mm-hmm. our, our second U.S. Poet Laureate. Um, Michelangelo. Oh, yeah. Was born March 6th, 1495. On his back? or? Uh, I doubt it. Yeah. I doubt it. I don't know how he came out. Yeah, that was, yeah. I think, you know, he may have it been. It had to have been upside down. Probably. I'm just saying. Probably. But, I mean, talk about someone who, I mean, what do you know about Michelangelo? Anything? <laughs> just what I said. Yeah, basically. That's um, it. I don't I know mean, a lot because I, <clears throat> yeah, I don't. I can't say I really know anything okay. besides the, his name. Okay. Uh, I mean, one of one of the few just geniuses. Yeah. You know what I mean? That that this world has produced. Um, I've read quite a bit about him, but you know, notoriously when he. When they were interviewing, I guess, different artists and architects to create the the beautiful basilica there, mm-hmm. he just went in, and this was his interview. Talk about auditions, right? <laughs> he just went in. He he got a, a I guess, a, a writing utensil and a, and a piece of paper. He drew a single solitary perfect circle on the on a piece of paper, freehand, freehand, and then walked out. <laughs> and they were like, "Okay, thank you. I'm done. If you want to contact me, I'll be over here." <laughs> This is my card. I do a circle. You want me? I could do on all of Basilica. So wow, anyway, yeah. Just to show, I'm going to try that one of my next auditions. <laughs> I'm just going to go in, look at everybody, and then leave. <laughs> Call me if you want, you people. Uh, all right, Sound of Music. This yes. week, 1965. <laughs> ah. It premiered one of my all-time faves. Is I it? Mean, it is. I mean, it's perfect. Well, they, they, as far as a musical, it's per, it's a perfect. I mean, the hills are alive, even for goodness' you sake. Know, in there, I mean, it, it's no. I, th- right. That's, um, yeah. I mean, you'll learn about. I, I mean, I, we have this in common. We love music, right? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Nineteen sixty-two, Wilt Chamberlain scored a hundred points in the NBA in one game, in a single game. Has that been broken, Patty? Do no, you? it is not. Okay. I didn't think I, I wasn't sure if Michael Jordan had. I know he's come close. No, he's come close, and Kobe's come close, but no, they have not. Incredible. King Kong, nineteen thirty-three with Fay Ray. Prim, yeah, yeah. Premiered uh, on on this. Well, I think it was this week, mm. um, but it was the first significant feature film to star an animated character. Mm. Wow, has that come a long ways in a hundred years? Mm. And of course, <laughs> excuse me, and of course, nineteen oh four, Doctor Seuss. Was born. Aww. Isn't that awesome? Dr. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. What a guy. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. Shut up, man. Don't cry. Damn it. That be- was good. Because it's over. Smile because it happened. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how perfect was that? That right? was really great. Today, you are you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive who is youer than you. The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. Thank you. Um, you're, so, you're welcome. <laughs> what do you, Patty was just giving. Oh, you the, Patty the, was the giving you signs. I thought you're like. Minutes. I read this poem. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank I you didn't much. know what you were waiting for. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> 
<laughs> so let's go back to Mr. Richard Wilbur, who yes. who won um, two Pulitzer Prizes, no less, and was one of our, our, our actually our second um, U.S. Poet Laureate. I'll just read a quick poem. It's called The Beautiful Changes by Richard Wilbur. One wading a fall meadow finds on all sides the Queen Anne's lace lying like lilies on water. It glides. So from the walker, it turns dry grass to a lake as the slightest shade of you valleys my mind in fabulous blue lucernes. Your hands hold roses always in a way that stays. They are not only yours. The beautiful changes in such kind ways wishing ever to sunder things and things selves for a second finding to lose for a moment, all that it touches back to wonder. That's Richard Wilbur. Nice. It's been an amazing day here yeah. with Bobby Marqueso. Thank you. I had so much fun. So much fun. Thank you so much. And special thanks to our sponsors, Denny & Company LLP, Certified Public Accountants. They make your life less taxing. Go to DennyLLP.com. The law offices of Lou Espen. When experience counts, count on experience at EspenLaw.com. And as always... I'd like to thank Jerry and Carl, our fantastic engineer, Patty, Patty St. Patrick, oh, Schwanky, oh, Flynn. <laughs> and um, it's a pleasure to have you here on Common Ground, where we can always agree on the important stuff. I'm Jason Downs. You're listening to KHTS. Until next time, stay safe, stay informed, and stay optimistic.